Next day when you're just minding your own business on the road and you see this twister coming your way. Let me tell you, that ain't a pretty funnel cloud. That's a freaking tornado. Now imagine getting sucked up into a swirling vortex of wind and debris. It's like being in a giant blender. But instead of a fruit smoothie, you end up as human puree. Not a smooth sight, huh? Well, what should you do? Or most importantly, how would you feel? Let's see. Let's start off by saying tornadoes are no joke. We're taking winds that can reach up to 300 miles per hour, cars flying like confetti, and houses getting blown away like a deck of cards. And if you find yourself in the middle of all that chaos, you may be wondering how to survive. So what exactly causes tornadoes? Well, they're born from powerful thunderstorms that collide with different air masses. When warm, moist air clashes with cool, dry air, it sets off a chain reaction that can result in a tornado forming. And let me tell you, once a tornado is unleashed, it can wreak havoc with its mighty winds that can reach speeds of 186 to 248 miles per hour. Now, it isn't just the winds that are going to scare you. It's the chills. The temperature inside a tornado can drop by 15 to 20 degrees compared to the outside. So, not only are you fighting the fierce winds, but you're also trying to stay warm in freezing temperatures. Who knew getting swallowed by a tornado could be like a walk in a freezer? Now, let's talk about oxygen deprivation. The wind speeds are so intense that, that the air gets thin, making it hard to breathe. It's like trying to catch your breath in a wind tunnel. Not exactly a picnic in the park. So, if you're ever in a tornado, make sure to bring a few extra oxygen tanks, or at least some fresh air gum. But let's not forget the bright side. If you survive a tornado, you'll have one heck of a story to tell. You can brag about your near-death experience, and your friends will be green with envy. Plus, you'll have the perfect excuse to never go outside again. Only if you're an introvert, though. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, numbers show that 91% of people who encounter tornadoes end up either severely injured or losing their lives. And trust me, those numbers are not something to be taken lightly. But let's not stay here scraping on the negative. Instead, let's imagine for a moment that you find yourself caught in the middle of a raging tornado. Imagine this, the tornado siren blares and you're scrambling to find shelter. But before you know it, the tornado touches down and you're caught in its grip. The wind is howling around you, debris is flying through the air, and you're fighting for survival with everything you've got. It's like being in the middle of an epic battle scene, but this time it's real life and you're the star. Now, if you're lucky enough to survive the initial fury of the tornado, things are far from over. You may find yourself at the peak of the funnel when it ends, and that's when things get really interesting. You'll experience a freefall from whatever height you're at, hurtling toward the ground at breakneck speed. It's like bungee jumping without the bungee cord or a parachute. Talk about an adrenaline rush. But let's be real here, surviving a tornado isn't a joke. What should you do if you find yourself in the path of a tornado? The first thing is to find shelter. If you're in a house, head to the basement or the lowest floor. If you're outside, go into a ditch or depression and cover your head. And whatever you do, don't try to outrun the tornado. It's not worth the risk, trust me man. Once you hear the siren blaring, don't panic. Instead, focus on increasing your chances of surviving. And when I say don't panic, I meant the other panic panic. But you should in fact hurry though. First things first, you need a safety plan. Identify the safest location in your home or workplace and practice getting there quickly. If you have a basement or an underground tunnel, that's the best option. If not, try to get as far away from the tornado's path as possible and stay somewhere underground. Now let's talk about supplies. You're going to need more than just some cans of beans and a flashlight. So make sure to stock up on non-perishable goods, water and a portable radio. And if you have a favorite snack, make sure to grab a few extra bags. You never know when you'll need some comfort food. But wait, there's more. You also need to have a first aid kit on hand just in case. And don't forget about your pets. They need food, water and a safe shelter to hide too. Plus if you're like me, your furry friend might just be the only one who doesn't mind listening to your terrible jokes during the storm. Oh, and one last thing. If you're a fan of horror movies, now is the best time to live out your dreams of being in one. Just make sure to be the final girl and not the first one to die. All right now, I know it's tempting to grab your camera and try to capture the perfect Instagram-worthy tornado selfie, but trust me, that's not a good idea. Tornadoes are extremely dangerous and can cause widespread destruction within seconds. So if you find yourself in the middle of a tornado, prioritize your safety above all else. 
miles, and if you're lucky enough to survive the ferocity of the tornado, you might find yourself at the top of the funnel when it ends. Now, that's when things get really exciting. You're experiencing a free fall from whatever height you're at, and it's going to be a heart-stopping moment. But don't worry, just keep calm and remember to aim for a soft landing. Don't. That was just a joke. Now, if you have access to a basement or an underground tunnel, that's your safest bet. Trust me, you don't want to mess with winds that can reach up to 248 miles per hour. It's like trying to wrestle with a giant blender. But if you don't have access to these options, don't panic. Just try to get as far away from the tornado's path as possible. If you're inside a building, head to the lowest level and stay away from the windows. And if possible, try to get to an interior room or a small windowless bathroom. It may not be the comfiest spot, but it's safer than being out in the open. And make sure to cover yourself with a mattress or heavy blankets to protect yourself from flying debris. Trust me, you don't want to be a human piñata. But let's say you're caught outside with nowhere to go. Whatever you do, do not seek shelter under a bridge or an overpass. That's a recipe for disaster. Instead, try to find a low-lying area like a ditch and lie flat. Cover your head with your hands to protect yourself from anything that might be flying around. You'll feel like a turtle in a shell, but hey, it's better than being tossed around like a rag doll. And if you do happen to get swallowed by a tornado, well, congratulations, you're now a human burrito. Just kidding. That's not something to joke about. It's actually incredibly dangerous and can be fatal. Now let's fast forward a bit. The tornado is over and you're safe and sound, right? Wrong. Just because the wind stopped blowing doesn't mean the danger is over. There could be downed power lines, gas leaks, and other hazards that could put you in harm's way. So listen to the instructions of the local authorities, emergency personnel, and weather alerts. It can save your life. And finally, let's talk about what happens if you're lucky enough to survive being inside a tornado. You might think it's all over, but it's not. Once the tornado dissipates, you're in for a wild ride. You'll free fall from whatever height you're at, and trust me, it's not going to be pretty. It's like a roller coaster from hell except there's no safety harnesses or brakes. You might land on your feet or you might not. The impact could result in some serious injuries, so be prepared. Anyways, this is what the insides of a tornado looks like and feels like. You'll like it? If then, do drop what you guys have to say in the comments section below. We'll meet again in another episode. So, so better stay tuned.